Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your October 2019 general love reading. So it's a general love reading, but um, I hope it resonates. If it does, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, there's two people at odds here. Um, or th There's not a coming together. There's separation here. Even if you live with someone, it's like you're still separated in a sense. It's not... Um, I'm hearing it's hollow. It's like coexisting uh coexistence somebody wants to bring something together though someone wants to bring an offer and there is a a need for some of you to heal there's a need for some of you to heal financial situations that include significant others in some manner, some way, I don't know. Maybe somebody put you in a position where money is, you know, scarce or it, it there was a sense of depletion. The Aquarius can't see what's coming at them, but something is coming in terms of love there's someone who wants to offer an apology like i said maybe empty apology hollow someone being shallow also something like that i don't know There's a baby here. Either someone's pregnant, just had a baby, wants a baby. But it's a baby on the outside. So I don't know what that means. So like maybe if you're wanting a baby, it just hasn't come to you yet. It's, it's here though. It just hasn't manifest, right? Um... Things are going as planned. Things are going as they should. Some of you have had dreams, premonitions in regards to love partners and how your love life uh, will play out or has it or how it has played out. For some of you children take a part in or play a part in something in regards to love. There's something hidden too. It's going to come to light. Something somebody was doing or isn't doing. It's how people love you. Whatever that may mean for you. Some of you are holding on to some past hurt, regret, resentment. Some of you always kind of date something or someone, I said something, or someone who is unavailable. These two shells turned up. You keep wondering where you keep finding unavailable. Something about a lesson. Learn lesson, learn how to say no, learn how to walk away, learn, learn learn it might even be you learning about yourself some of you are meeting older gentlemen some direct correlation in regards to some of you not growing up with fathers explore that there book the cognitive reading um i don't know something that just came up that is very random 
but um, somebody's look watching you, looking at you. I don't know. You know, um, maybe you're in the public eye in some fashion, and they're like, they're like, they're watching you, but they you don't know it. They don't let on to it. They they're not communicating with you. There's no evidence of them watching you. And they like it like that, and they're comfortable there, but they want to speak up. This might be might have been someone who hurt you, or vice versa, you hurt them. Survey says, I don't know where that's coming from. <sighs> Any survey says, there's like not even another phrase after I just heard survey says, I don't know. I want to pick the shells up guys but I keep hearing no but I want, okay it's something some of you feel like this great disappointment and then like all oh, the odds are stacked against you or something in the regards to why, why me why does it happen to me why me why me? Why always me? Some of you, the question is, is it coming? Is it coming? I don't... I don't know. Some of you have to let your guard down in regards to sex, intimacy, and vulnerability. You feel like if you can control the narrative, then you control the narrative. You control the relationship. You control what's happening. But the only thing you can control is yourself. You don't control other people point blank period even when you feel like you have them under control some of you can break some rules that you have some standards that you set for yourself okay okay picking up the shells now all right, Aquarius, so let's get into it. Let's ask universe, spirit, God, heaven, mighty, angelic, angel force. What's in store for Aquarius? What is in store for Aquarius in regards to love and relationship? Love and relationship. First card out, two of earth. So much going on. So many options or two very real options here. Yeah. Could be people. Could be paths. Could be two paths of how you make money. You needed to make a decision. You need to consider being a little bit more less serious about this. Um, there's also could be a love affair. You have, to, and it may not be something you want to engage in. Something that's going to yield you what it is you want. So you have to weigh up the options, weigh up the costs. The cost in regards to your time, energy, effort, heartbreak, heartache, if it doesn't turn out in your favor. Once again, weighing up two very real options, two very real ways to go, maybe in love, two people, 
somebody's unavailable something is unavailable but the Aquarius is staying maybe out of manipulation maybe out of just kind of figuring that they can change or shift the energy or someone wants to come out of that or you have come out of that what's to come for Aquarius two options seven of air your plans are going to need to be revised there's a need to for pre-planning re, re reworking rewriting the vision and making it simple what is it that you really want write down who you want what kind of partner you want write down your shortcomings also write down what you want to change about yourself are you the idealistic partner for the one that you want think about that in every facet from the most superficial facet from you know it being the aesthetics how you look to who you are inside how you deal with conflict conflict resolution how you deal with money how you deal are you the ideal partner what more can you do for yourself in regards to relationship marriage contract what's your interpersonal style and what are you bringing to the table what kind of what are you relaying in your actions in your your persona what's to come for aquarius the three of earth okay so getting some recognition, maybe rebuilding, rebranding yourself even, doing something to make yourself over inside and outside. The threes are about creation, doing the work. Something has manifested. You've chosen a path and you're going to walk on it, walk in it, work toward it. So you may be doing like the healing process, the healing work, lighting your candles, get your pink candles. Yeah, if not from me, get them from somewhere. Get your pink candles, light your candles in regards to more self-love, true love, awareness. Light your white candles for blessing and purity, healing, okay? All right, light your red candle for that va va boom with that passion, that passionate spark. Um, doing the work in regards to bringing about a new status quo, a new status change, um, having a foundation to build upon. Some of you are coming out of and, and rebuilding and rebranding yourself. What is to come for Aquarius? nine of air something is ending the end of an era uh, you're expecting the worst but i think goodness is coming once you do the work in regards to yourself it says self-fulfilling prophecies don't fall into negativity because what how we think is what we are or how we are so don't fall into that Think positive because you are the magician. It says play your cards right. You have you you've got a really winning hand. Play your cards right. You know who or what you want. You are ready. You have all resources from the intellect to the to the passion and the in the drive. To the resources, you are resourceful, down to the emotion. You have mastered it all. You have an idea of what or who you want. Stay true to your convictions. If you said, I'm never dating anybody who's unavailable again, who is not single, who is, you know, who is spreading themselves wide. I'm not going to do it. You know, you need to stick to that. 
stick to your guns this says that if you stay true to your own convictions and it'll land you on that path that you're looking to be on it'll land you right where you want to be seven of earth having done the work here you have seeds well planted things may seem like it's at a halt it's at a standstill and maybe they are but goodness good news baby news once again baby news um money news is coming to you you're worried unnecessarily because there's a halt two of cups then i say it uh there's something in regards to maybe a relationship that you've already visited or has some history here two of water there there can be a successful relationship between you and someone else there has to be a leveling though there has to be yeah someone may come in and just sweep you right off your feet the knight of cups someone may ask you out someone is falling in love with you or you them this is to come for you you're very worried about is will I have anybody why does this always happen to me why does this person have someone why you know why this why that why is it breaking down the two of earth hmm. this is to come for you let's see in regards to you those who have come to the reading in regards to a specific person Aquarius dealing with a specific person. What's the energy there? What is the energy in between? Well, let's get even more distinct. Some of you are wanting someone to come back. Is there someone coming back for Aquarius? Three of Swords would have to say that's a yes or no let's see it could be yes it could be no here there's division there's a heart divided there's something that's keeping you two from being together knight of wands there might be someone rushing in or there might be time is of the essence in regards to because someone was, is, like I said, looking at you. What is, what is their intention? To have some good fortune, good luck, happy times with you. Um, they feel like this is destined to happen. Maybe they want to apologize or they want a second chance, a second try with you. So someone is returning. Should the Aquarius accept this person? This could have been someone who never really gave you a title. I'm not seeing title here either. I mean, I've seen second go around. What I what I heard was that they have an opportunity. There's a window of opportunity for them to communicate with you, come and see you. They may be with another person. There's a window of opportunity for them to kind of like give you some time hmm. should Aquarius accept this person maybe be slow at it please view take your time with this this might be a cancer because they have come back doesn't mean that they're back for good or they have really good intentions take your time Aquarius fill this person out ask the necessary question should have yet yeah, take your time with this in regards to maybe sex intimacy 
yeah, find moderation and balance with this. Know when to to show the affection, know when to turn it off. Um, this could be directly related to the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. Compromise, but still stand your ground. Seven, seven of Wands. Still defend your position in regards to this relationship, marriage, business partnership, whatever. Right, because there's someone here who is still committed and feels as if because of their status, what they do in life, how much money they have, what they've accomplished, that they can have whom, or, or yeah, they can have who, or whatever it is they want. This could be directly related to a cancer, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but definitely to a cancer. This is a person who comes in whims, comes in cycles. You see how that wheel turns? They feel like they can give you some time now. A window has opened and now they want to come back. Please take your time with this particular person, okay? Um, they may be in love with being in love. They like the newness of it feeds their ego. It feeds their soul. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone new coming in for Aquarius? Be careful with whomever this is. It could be anybody. All, all signs are here. Maybe someone who broke your heart. Someone who divorced and separated from the situation with you. No, that they divorced. But, um. Yes, get out, date. Let your friends help you. Three of Cups. Spread that good cheer, that good energy around. Travel, have a change of scenery. Move about. Eight of Pentacles, yes. Later in life, you may have marriage love travel with your partner yeah lots of travel lots of um options here lots of doing um could be a piscean person could be an aquarius could be aries sagittarius leo capricorn virgo taurus cancer pisces it could be anybody right um this person will bring to you options. Wow, the lovers. This person, that's what I'm saying, that options and choices and new ways of looking at life. And I definitely will be heaven sent in regards to someone new coming into your life. There'll be a lot of passion. Um, you guys have both been through the ringer. And now you come together. Uh, the angels bring you together. And you make a choice to have a lasting love. It'll feel as if you know this person. King of Swords. This could be you. This could be the person. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tip, this is Gem, it sits on Gemini. It could be Gemini. Typically, it is Aquarius or Libra. It could be Gemini. Don't get me wrong. This will be an older Gemini, though. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Aquarius. Okay, this could be someone who does really skilled work. They're very smart. They're sharp. They're witty. Uh, they mean what they say. They say what they mean. If they don't say it, then know that it does not exist. Okay? If they didn't tell you they love you, then they don't love you. Um, they may have strong like for you. Um, this is a person whose words are... Um, very strategic and, and methodical their action if they take action a lot of times they just use a very very clear communication um wow this is a two of cups again just popped out into my lap um you guys the exchange the exchange the um this is the exchange There's like a level of intimacy that you will 
reach with this person. Now, intimacy is different from sex, right? There's like intimate details. There's a guard, that guard that was up being let down, Queen of Wands. This could be a very attractive person or this is how they view you. Uh, very charismatic, outgoing, seductress, sultry, um, clairvoyant. This is a per yeah. This there might be. Oh, why did I hear that? Okay, all right. You and this person might practice sex magic. That's not. I'm, I'm no judging. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think you want to do that with someone who you want to be tied to for a very long time because, yeah. Uh, you guys may be open to, yeah, this is a person who they know what they want. They offer you the relationship. Um, they want to solidify the relationship and build upon this new person, wow, six of wands, they wanna get married. Ace of wands, the sex and intimacy between you two will be heightened, magnified, something you've never really experienced. That guard will be let down. Uh, in the shells, it said the Aquarius doesn't even know what or who or what, they said what is coming towards them. Hmm, very nice, very, very nice. Um, to those who are estranged from a particular person for whatever reason, maybe somebody's gotta get it together. Um, what? Let's see what this person wants to say to you. To those Aquarius who are estranged. Wow, the devil in reverse. They wanna tell you that maybe they wanna come out of making Okay, horrible choices. They want to come out of codependency. They want to come out of superficiality. Um, they are, uh, this is what they're doing. What else does this person want to say? Right, they want to come out of separation with you. Five of pentacles in reverse. They want to come out of uncertainty. They want to come out of that. Or they are coming out of that. They're coming out of um, being unsure, having lack of confidence in a connection, but still staying. Maybe a marriage, maybe some long-standing union, something that they felt tied to. Wow. They want to tell you that whatever position they're in, there is no, no passion. There is no, no desire. There is uh, no energy. There's no life here. There's no fire. They want to tell you, um, those who are estranged, King of Swords in reverse. They want to tell you, I hope they want to tell you the truth. The King of Swords in reverse is a liar. They want, I hope they don't want to tell you more lies. Okay, the world upright. They may want to, they may feel as if they don't have any control in their own life, in their own relationship. That strategic planning, thinking, being logical is, not with them it's not they can't think their way out of this they're upside down and they're thinking upright the king of swords has his heart and his mind aligned that's why he's a great decision maker great choice maker you know you go to this is the lawyer the judge um this is uh, King Solomon, you know, um, I believe, don't quote me on that. Um, this is a person whose spirituality and their intellect are so very um, balanced and on point 
that decision making is good this this person firstly wanted to tell you that they want to make better decisions they want to come out of the devil energy where they make codependent decisions or superficial materialistic decisions uh, low vibrational sex driven related decisions they want to come into some level of maturity with the world here they want to close out a cycle they feel like you can help them what else does this person want to tell aquarius six of wands they want they want your attention they want you to choose them they want to choose you they have analyzed what it the relationship is what it means they find a sense of usefulness with you around you uh within what you were trying to bring them into you were trying to take them higher they weren't ready um maybe they aren't still ready they, that's something that they have to do on their own right the empress they want to tell you that um out of all women out of all men this is might be geared to toward the women though um you are first you are the empress you are the one even if they didn't show you in their actions and their words you were the one that they put on the pedestal. You were the one that got the respect. You were the one that was able to, before them, turn something into nothing to, to take care of yourself. You're the most independent one. You're the most creative one. Uh, with you is abundance, is luxury, is love. They want to tell you that they want to come out of emotional confusion, out of stagnation, out of... Um, procrastinating before making a heavy choice decision in regards to their life that they want to get back in control the sevens are about control the chariot they want to get back in control and move things forward all right one more card what does this person want to say to to the aquarius oh my gosh every time i do the aquarius reading my nose just starts itching like this is like it's nobody's business oh my gosh the two of pentacles are, they want to come out of juggling they want to come out of love affairs and sneaking around and relations and business that is just underhanded or whatnot they want to come out of not speaking they want to speak their truth to you the knight of swords in reverse um They don't feel like they can come towards him. Right. The the magician in reverse and the sun. They don't know how to play their cards with you. They don't know how to make this happen. They they feel like they mucked up so so badly. They just don't know how to see the good or have a positive outcome here. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um they do want to reestablish their relationship by way of doing of showing action um some project fulfillment here some reason to celebrate they feel like maybe you are a twin flame i really don't subscribe to all of that but you guys can you know put whatever label you need i'm good with it um yeah so that though that is for the people who are estranged we got somebody new coming in for those who are looking for someone new those who are worrying about will it happen it says work on yourself because something is something good is coming towards you um what's the best of what's the best advice for aquarius what's the best advice for aquarius we're at 33 34 minutes best advice for aquarius go over to we're going to do the advice at the website okay nice best advice for aquarius oh nice 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 okay this is good whoa yeah Okay, best advice for Aquarius. Nice. It looks like it embodied everybody. Yeah, very, very. Oh, nice. At the bottom of that deck. All right. What is your partner dealing with? Let's see. The person 
um, that you're estranged from. This person that wants to, that needs to get some stuff together. What are they dealing with? What is this this person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for? What? Okay. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. This this is getting good. Okay, and last but not least, what does Aquarius need to do in order to bring love into their life? For some of us, it's heal, wow, and then this comes out. I'm gonna just show it to you, whether you get the extended or not, and you can take from that what you will. What does the Aquarius need to do? Wow, these cards are talking today. What does the Aquarius need to do in order to bring true love into their life? Okay, bottom of the deck, very nice. All right, so Aquarius, meet me on the other side. This is getting interesting. I think. I think. Some of my Aquarius, they're gonna like this. It's very clear. All right, so I'll see you on the other side, guys. Thank you. I hope that this is where we part, that you took something from this reading, um, that some questions were answered uh, for you. Take care. Remember, the link is below for the extended, okay? All right, bye, guys.